Hey guys, my name is Maria Park and welcome to Approach the Nerd. And here I am on a Sunday, just realizing that there is a brand new trailer, the first teaser trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, if you followed my channel for a while, um, I've said this multiple times, Spider-Man is the very first comic series I ever got into back in 1982. So I was about six or seven. Um, and so anything Spider-Man related, I am here for. So I'm really excited for this because it has been one of the trailers that I have been looking forward to the most simply because Marvel does not do well with animated movies. DC normally kind of kicks their butt in terms of animation, but I liked Into the Spider-Verse a lot. So I am excited to see what they're doing with the sequel. And I noticed the tagline is part one. So we're going to check this trailer out and see what is going on in the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse universe. So here we go. They we're still using the Post Malone song. Totally getting copyright claim after this one. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Gwen. Ghost Gwen. Love how your underwear is just floating around. Yeah, Power Rangers on the shelf behind him. That's awesome. I mean, this is Gwen's rich wa uh, wrist watch that's doing the multiverse, like portals. What is happening? Ah, Spider Man 2099. Okay. Okay. October 7th, 2022. Okay. Um, from what we got so far, um, I'm excited. I mean, obviously, it's a Spider-Verse situation. I'm wondering, um, I bet you if I were to look up reviews on this, probably, people probably thought that um, he might be fighting someone like Morlon or some of the inheritors, which is probably true. Um, I'm curious though, if we do have Morlon, does that mean that we're going to have access to more spider men? Um, I would love to see Jessica Drew, Silk, Kane, and a bunch of the other ones, you know, Mayday Park, you know, all involved, our Parker involved in this. Will we get that? I don't know, but I will tell you the one that's itching for me. If we had the inheritors, like just say it all, the family, Morlon's family, then we would get superior Spider-Man. And having Doc Ock, who honestly, for his whole superior Spider-Man run, made a better Spider-Man than Peter ever did, would be a dream for me. Will we get that? Probably not. We do have Doc Ock in um, the Spider-Man movie that's coming out next week, which is No Way Home. I don't think he's going to be transferred into animation, <laughs> But to be fair, it is a different universe. So maybe, I don't know. I think it would be exciting to see Superior Spider-Man. Um, 
as one of the spider men in the spider verse because it's not like it hasn't happened in canon um so i'm excited i think this is cool and Haley Stein- steinfeld i always say her last name right she is working her butt off i mean arcane she was vi which was that performance kicked ass um i i like her in hawkeye as kate bishop i love kate bishop kate bishop is one of my favorite young avengers um so now i'm hearing her as ghost gwen and you know i just feel like she's working it she's doing it i have no complaints um oscar isaac sounds good i i kind of feel like this movie is going to be kick ass i just I got questions. <laughs> like I always have questions because I do know, again, Sony's doing this. This is not technically MCU. Um, but I do wonder if this is a tie, like if they're going to do a tie in because technically they own Spider-Man and we do have an MCU Spider-Man movie. So technically this could be something that they tie in with what's going on with the plot with, especially with Dr. Strange too. I don't know. I would like that. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, I kind of feel like this is their own thing. But I will say the one thing I am loving is the animation style because the animation looks really good. They look a little older. Um, It looks cleaner. It's very colorful. I love the spray paint aesthetic because we had a lot of that in Into the Spider-Verse and that's what Miles used to do with his uncle. So I love that they kept that. So I'm just, I'm really curious on on what is the overall goal? We we see he's transported through the multiverse. What is the goal? What is, what's happening? Is it a Merlon situation? Are we fighting the inheritors? What is it? We know it's not Kingpin coming back. So what is it they are fighting? So I'm very, I'm very curious. And then also in part two, is this going to lead to something like Spider Island, <laughs> which would be really cool for me anyway. Um, but I digress. Um, something else I've always wanted to ha- um, happen if they were going to have a connection to the MCU um, is to have Wasp, you know, involved in some capacity since a lot of, you know, Gwen's tech comes from Wasp, but it really depends on which universe or what Earth we're talking about. So, you know, a nice tie in there with Ant-Man and Wasp, but probably won't happen <laughs> because I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that characters that are connected to each other have no association in, you know, the movie world, a movie verse. But whatever. <laughs> I am still, like I said, I'm very curious to see where this is going. Um, and it looks pretty good. So, but I want to know what you think. So please leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you would like to sign up for jury duty, hit the subscribe button. If you like news next in their bell, it's the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. But hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.